All right, so guy, we're gonna do Dear Mama by Tupac. Uh, we'll start off with a simple guitar, and then we'll do the harder guitar. Okay. Um, so the song is pretty easy. It's kind of the same pattern over and over. Um, this hap that happens a lot in hip hop. Um, but for guitars, you got a pretty easy pattern. Check this out. Uh, you need four notes. You need on your first string a six, which is a B flat. Find that note. Then you need a 7, which is a B. Find that note. Then you need an A flat, which is 4. Okay. And then you go up to what is an E flat on 6 of the second string. Okay, so let me zoom in a bit for you here. You can see this. Here's fret 6 on the guitar, 6, 7, 4, 6. So you go in this little pattern, boom, 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 boom. Now all these notes, like I was saying, they're all half notes. Well, there's a lot of half notes except for this cool little push on this last note. So let me count it for you. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. It's super funky. I can't even hold still when I'm playing it because I'm just uh, so keen to groove. Okay, right. let me play it again for you. One, two, three, four. got that, that's pretty cool, and you can play along with me, that's pretty good. If you want, pause it right now, rewind it, play along with me, get that happening a few times. Um, make sure you're matching me, okay? Playing at the same time. There's that one last note that has a little jump skip into it. Uh, that's key. The rest of it, the song sounds kind of lame without it. Um, okay, so let's jump into the power chords now. Um, so if you've been playing guitar for a little while, you're doing some power chords. Um, if you are just new to power chords, I'll explain them a little bit, but uh, hopefully you're starting to get these. Okay, so your first power chord, on your first string, play a 6. On your second string, play an 8. On your third string, play another 8. So you got 6, 8, 8. Here's the, the hand position. You guys see that? Okay. This finger just kind of stays out of the way. Okay, so power chord on 6. Then move it up, just slide it up to a 7, okay, down to a 4, and then up to 6 on your 2nd string. The shape never really changes, it just uh, moves, I guess. So here it's 6, 8, 8, then it's 7, 9, 9, then it's 4, 6, 6, then it's 6, 8, 8, but now I'm on my 2nd string, you can see there. Alright, so this is, this is the first note of the song, the first chord of the song, right? And then I go, boop, slide it up, slide it down to the fourth, and here's the last note of the song. You can see they're very close. First note, last note. I just kind of, just kind of skip. Boom, and I move the whole thing up a string. And by up, of course, I mean that way. It looks like down, but it's not. Okay, here we go, again. Mega Freaks, instead of playing the power chords, you can play the actual chords, which are pretty wild. It's uh, very cool. Ooh. Then we got. Okay, I'm not even going to get in explaining those on, on video because it's kind of tricky. But grab the paper, play it with the same rhythm as those power chords, uh, but obviously your finger positions are a little harder to do. A 
second chord's hard. So let's uh, let's watch the rhythm on this one. This is a tricky one to get the rhythm. Once you got the rhythm, though, uh, it'll sound good. <laughs> 